Imagine you're having a great day and suddenly out of nowhere, BAM! Something comes and hits you and spoils your entire day. Isn't that what happened to our world when out of nowhere, BAM! COVID-19 came and hit us and threw us all into a massive disarray globally. Well, there are some positives though to this uh, very dark cloud. There is always a silver lining. I for one have enjoyed uh, the family time that I was able to spend. Uh, I'm glad uh, our personal hygiene and health habits have improved quite dramatically. Uh, and also I'm glad that the pollution levels around the world have come down. All right, now as somebody who works in the international education and migration industry, a lot of people reach out to me and ask my opinion about various questions pertaining to this industry. And one question that's being asked uh, recently is, in what way has COVID-19 affected the international education and migration industry? Being the eternal optimist that I am, I can tell you that I can see clearly at least five uh, positives that have come out of the COVID-19 situation for this industry. Number one, I believe that international students and migrants will be better equipped to choose the right destination for their future aspirations based on the way governments in different countries were able to show their efficiency and tackle this pandemic. So that will give a definite sense of confidence to people who are planning to go to a particular country. Number two, I think international students will be offered a blended learning style going forward uh, where there will be a mix of offline and online and this might bring down the cost of the study quite significantly. That's a big advantage for international students. Number three, as companies try to emerge out of the COVID-19 crisis in different countries and they would be looking for highly skilled people who would help them to get back on their feet quicker and if they can't find the talent in their country, they will definitely reach out and want to import these skills from other countries. So a great time to be a skilled migrant. Number four, I strongly believe that health professionals and health workers will be in massive demand uh, because countries would not be gearing up for future uh, outbreaks of such pandemics. And last but not the least, number five, I think we will end up with a safer and more well-organized travel industry as well as safer and more well-organized societies and countries as well. So overall, that is also going to be a positive for us coming out of COVID-19 because the screening at the points of entry and exit of various countries is going to become so much more stricter. So all said and done, uh, it is not a glass that's half empty. Uh, I definitely look at a glass that's half full. So stay on track with your dreams of going overseas. Do not drop this uh, plan that you've been making for months and years together and continue to stick to your plan and your dream will come true.